These pictures have just been released of a visit by UN officials to the town three days ago. Dead bodies litter the roads, with a strong stench of decomposition filling the air. During the past few days, Bentu was the scene of severe violence, very targeted, deliberate violence that uh, struck individuals of certain identities. And I think that uh, what I've so far seen in the mosque and in other parts of town has really been very, very heart-wrenching. Uh, certainly atrocities have been committed here on a very significant scale. Uganda's army backing the government of South Sudan against the rebels in this four-month conflict said UN peacekeepers should have done more to protect civilians. The UN rejected this. The government has a responsibility to protect. I think when a small, relatively small number of peacekeepers are faced with a large number of armed uh, people without uniforms um, they and are trying their best to avoid violence, I think shooting in the air or shooting on the ground warning shots is probably the best thing they can do. Um, I think our peacekeepers have acted uh, very well under very difficult uh, circumstances. The UN is protecting as many as 22,000 civilians at its Bentu base, in addition to 60,000 more around the country. The UN has stressed that their staff are working under trying conditions in the country, housing several thousand civilians in bases not equipped for the scale of need. Those in camps are said to get three litres of water a day, with reports that 350 people have to share one latrine. The conflict, which has a large ethnic dimension between the Nuer and Dinka tribes, has failed to adhere to a cessation of hostilities agreement signed in January. Sherman Riceby's SABC News, New York.